I see the face of God. Still planning the memorial service for Michael Jackson. They're dealing with the legal issues, not only the kids, but the estate. And still, they have a lot of questions as to the circumstances surrounding Michael Jackson's death. He was gone too soon and suffered too long. At age 50, Michael Jackson had already one of the longest careers in show business. When he started performing, the Beatles were still playing in stadiums. First talent show. And I messed up playing my guitar from staring at this chick. And I was nervous on the other half. And Michael. He was so nervous, he dropped the microphone. <laughs> hey, Tito. But anyway, we took it away, though. Tito, Tito, Tito. Remember the first time we started, you know, Michael used to play the bongos, you know? Yeah, I remember. This, all the Jacksons, yourself and the Jacksons. I would say probably uh, togetherness or um, just enjoying our work a lot. Putting a lot of love into it, all our efforts. His musical legacy is enormous. He possessed all of the tools to dominate the charts seemingly at will. An instantly identifiable voice, eye-popping dance moves, stunning musical versatility, and loads of sheer star power. He's gonna get me back home. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, and good luck. It's something that I guess you're just born with. <laughs> you feel the music, it's like a painter, I guess. You approach the canvas with the paint and the brush, and you're inspired by things around you, I guess, and what's inside of you. And you do it. And, uh, and I like creating magic. As an artist, he hardly ever made a mistake. He broke down racial barriers transformed the art of the music video and paved the way for modern pop music. First of all, I'd like to... This is yours. Oh, I I'll hold it. Okay. <laughs> First, I'd like to thank God who makes all things possible. I'd like to thank my mother and father who... I love very much Joseph and Catherine Jackson. I thank Quincy Jones, who's in the audience. I don't see him I'm somewhere. He was, right there. he was right there, but thank you, Quincy. I thank Bill Bray, John Branca, the Epic family, Walter Yetnikoff, and Larry Spesso and Glenn Brunman. I love you. Thank you very much. He had more hits, more number one records, sold more tickets, books, and magazines than any other artist in the 20th century. For much of his career, he had an unparalleled level of worldwide influence over the younger generation through his musical and humanitarian contributions. Yet, his life was difficult. From childhood, he was burdened with a demanding and disciplining father, health and financial issues, and a painful search for acceptance while in the midst of constant self-doubt. He was victimized by child abuse and also expected of inflicting the same. He made more money than any other artist, but left behind the largest debt ever accumulated by an individual in show business. Some of it was spent for reinventing his life as part of an extra-long second childhood, turning out as sad as the first one, changing his physical appearance, defending his privacy while every move he made was a global event. It's going to take time for us to fully understand the Michael Jackson legacy. But some of the pieces in this documentary will help us remember 
is colorful, fantastic light. Are we making magic here? 